Good morning everyone. Our morning devotion today comes from the book Conflict and Courage. Lord in the morning thou shall hear my voice ascending high to thee will I direct to thee lift up mine eyes. Burden sharing. Daniel chapter 9 verse 1 to 14. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession. Burdened in behalf of Israel, Daniel studied and knew the prophecies of Jeremiah. They were very plain, so plain that he understood by these testimonies recorded in the books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. With faith founded on the sure word of prophecy, Daniel pleaded with the Lord for the speedy fulfillment of these promises. He pleaded for the honor of God to be preserved. In his petition, he identified himself fully with those who had fallen short of the divine purpose, confessing their sins as his own. What a prayer was that which came from the lips of Daniel. What humbling of soul it reveals. The warmth of heavenly fire was recognized in the words that were going upward to God. Heaven responded to that prayer by sending its messenger to Daniel. In this our day, prayers offered in like manner will prevail with God. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. As in ancient times, when prayer was offered, fire descended from heaven and consumed the sacrifice upon the altar. So in answer to our prayers, the heavenly fire will come into our souls. The light and power of the Holy Spirit will be ours. Have not we as great need to call upon God as had Daniel? I address those who believe that we are living the very last period of this earth's history. I entreat you to take upon your own souls a burden for our churches, our schools, and our institutions. That God who heard Daniel's prayer will hear ours when we come to him in contrition. Our necessities are as urgent our difficulties are as great and we need to have the same intensity of purpose and in faith roll our burden upon the great burden bearer. There is need for hearts to be as deeply moved in our time as in the time when Daniel prayed. Amen. Once again, we are learning from Daniel, the prophet. So Daniel interceded for his people Israel while they were still in captivity in the nation called Babylon. Remember, they were taken into captivity because they had wandered away from God. So it was a punishment. But still, God through prophet Jeremiah had told the children of Israel that after 70 years of captivity, they would return to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple and resettle in Jerusalem once again. 
So Daniel read these books of Jeremiah and, and he understood them. So he prayed to God that the fulfillment of the 70 years may come to pass so that they return to their homeland. So Daniel was interceding for his people and he identified himself among the sinners like them. So he, it was a fervent intercessory prayer. So we learn that even us today, we need to intercede for our churches, for our schools, our institutions, our friends and family, and even our enemies. We need to intercede for them and make a fervent prayer so that God can extend his grace to those people. They repent of all their sins and make themselves right with God before probation forever closes. Yes, friends, let's learn to intercede for one another, confess our faults to one another, and pray to God just like Daniel did and interceded for the people of Israel. So today we learned, we've learned that a fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So we can be those righteous people among the millions and intercede and make fervent prayers so that God's grace, God's mercy can be extended to those we are inter- we are interceding for have a good day let's pray all kind and heaven father thank you for this beautiful morning we pray that as we are going to start a new day as we started this new day may your holy spirit abide with us to guide us all day long i pray that father you will enable us to indeed intercede for the people both within our church and outside church so that your mercy and your grace may be extended to all we long that everyone should be saved and father we pray that we shall be collaborators with you in this salvation work abide with us Bless us, for this is my humble prayer, in Jesus' name, Amen.